Hey, what's up everybody? I just thought I'd do a real quick video talking about the brand new Juice 5.3 that's been released today. So there have been a lot of changes and improvements in the new 5.3 and we can scroll down here through the release notes and check it out. First thing is that they've rebuilt the website and the website looks awesome. They've also redone the documentation page for the classes and it looks really nice and it seems like it's just laid out a lot nicer. So big up for that. And let's go back to the release notes and scroll down. So as I said before, they've, they've focused really on the tutorials and the documentation and improving that. So if you go over here to the tutorials page, there's a lot of new tutorials. So we have categories like getting started, audio, synth, MIDI, plugins, DSP, graphics, interface design, mobile, and utility classes. So if you're learning to so if you're looking to learn a lot more about Juice, you have plenty to find there in the tutorials. So let's see what else they've done. So this was really interesting. This is a new thing called Producer, Producer Instant Projects or PIPs. So this is really cool. So basically what it does is it allows them to contain a producer project with everything inside of it in one single .h file. So I'll show you what I mean. If I have my producer open here and then I go and I just open my applications folder, I go to the juice folder and into the examples. If any of you have been in here before, you would remember that these all, these all used to be producer files, but now they're just .h files. And what we could do is we could just take one of these and we can drag it onto the producer itself and boom, it opens up. And everything that we need is contained just in this .h file. So this is a really convenient way for them to contain these projects. Um, and it's called the PIP, Producer Instant Projects. So the next thing is something I'm not quite clear on, but maybe somebody else might know a little bit more information. So you have this hosted plugin parameters, says it now extracts more information about the parameters of a hosted plugin. Not sure if that means in the plugin host or just a plugin that's made in Juice. Um, if somebody understands that a little bit more, uh, uh, please clear it up for me by making a comment below. Um, so, so yeah, so that's an improvement for our Android supporters. Uh, for our Android developers, we have Obo support. So Obo, so Obo is a C plus plus library for developing Android. And I don't really know a whole lot about Android development, but for people that do, this uh, is hopefully helpful. And you can download the Obo repository from this link. Check it out. So uh, I think I've covered everything. So as I said, brand new website. It looks really good. Got tutorials. Uh, documentation is really cleaned up. looks really good. And they've also improved the coding standard now. Coding standard is now C++14 from C++11. And I think that's everything. That's all the really big changes. So I hope you enjoyed this overview, and I'll see you next time.